Jesus' name. Um, you welcome to Pastor Femi TV. I'm glad to uh, minister to you this morning, afternoon, or evening, regardless, uh, you know, anytime you are, where you are viewing in right now. I want to say that you are blessed forever in Jesus' name. I could like to read from the book of Colossians chapter 1, from verse 12. It says, giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. You see, um, last time I was discussing with us the need for light. And I said, let there be light. If anything meaningful is, will come out of your life, you need the light of God. But I bet you did not, uh, you know, see that illustration. I said, let the light of God shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In every area of your life, I decree the light of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I want to tell you that you, every one of us, were in darkness. Why? Because our father Adam lost it to the devil in the Garden of Eden. And consequently, the devil took hold of the world and put the world in total darkness. So, but what was able to bring us back? You know, it's like selling, uh, you know, selling the whole world to the devil, selling the whole world to the devil. But Jesus Christ had to come. Jesus, God sent Jesus Christ to come to buy us back, to buy us back. So this morning, I quickly want to, uh, you know, talk on the uh, blood of Jesus, buy me back. That's the prayer I want to pray for you, that the blood of Jesus will buy you back. So many of us, you know, in our family lines, sold to the devil, to the demons, through sacrifices. There are some families that there are some advancements that they can never see till they die. There are some families that they can never build any house till they die. Anybody that tries it will die off. There are some that will never enter into royal institution till they die. There are some that will not, you know, be able to marry till they die. There are some that marry and will not be able to have children. Why? They have been tied up by the power of darkness. But we thank God now. In verse 12, it's a giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints. In light, in light, in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness, from the power of darkness. I say that power of darkness holding down your life. I say you are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power of darkness, the power of enchantment, the power of divination. Because it is written that no enchantment against you, no divination against you. According to this time, it shall be said concerning you, concerning your household. What the Lord God has done, the power of light is reaching you now. I say let there be light in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you have been sold, let the blood of Jesus buy you back in the name of Jesus. It says that who has delivered us from the power of darkness? There are some, I don't know, possibly you are not able to sleep well. The power of darkness has seized your sleep. The power of darkness has seized your peace in your home. Or the power of darkness has seized your health. Or the power of darkness has seized your finances. Hear the word of the living God. He says, who has delivered us? from the power of darkness. I said by the blood of Jesus, you are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus is not a quiet blood. The blood speaks better things. 
I say whichever word that has been spoken against your life, I say let the blood of Jesus silence it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because his voice is like the voice of many waters. I say that voice of darkness, the voice of the witches, the wizard, the occult, the evil foundation, the evil covenant that has been spoken against your life, holding down your destiny. I say let the voice of the blood of Jesus silence them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be silenced. Let them be silenced. I say be loosed wherever you are tied in the mighty name of Jesus. It reminds me of a man who bought um, a drug from uh, these uh, local people that were trading about saying that they are head officials. And uh, this man bought drugs from them, took the drug, and before you knew it, his private part, you know, he could not, I mean, just shrunk, became very small. And then the wife was not really very happy about it. So sent my wife to me and we had to visit them. And we got there and we asked for the blood of Jesus to retrieve the private part where it has been sold on evil altar. And that night we prayed fervently. So uh, when we left the place and the man came with testimony the next morning that as we prayed that night that he slept and he wanted to have a, you know go to urinate uh, in the night when he stood up and as he was urinating that the thing just came back and jumped back to life and he shouted calling the wife to come and see that it has returned it has returned i don't know what has been stolen from your life by the power in the blood of Jesus, I command it to return now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever has been taken from your life, whatever has been stolen from your life, is it your husband, your wife, your child, I say your child bearing facility, your reproductive organ, whatsoever has been sealed in your life, I say right now, I command the blood of Jesus to resuscitate it, to open it up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the chapter of blessing that have been shot against your life. I say let it be open again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus is powerful. Blood of Jesus is powerful. Blood of Jesus is powerful. No problem can subdue it. Blood of Jesus is powerful. Wherever you have been sold in the kingdom of darkness, I say let the blood of Jesus buy you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Buy you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever your head has been sold, on any water, let the blood of Jesus buy you back in the name of Jesus, who has delivered us from the power of darkness. I say you are delivered by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Every back upon your life, I say it's broken by the blood of Jesus. It's broken by the blood of Jesus. It's broken by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in verse 14, he says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. I don't know what sin you have committed. And they say, there's no way for you. You yourself, you have not even pardoned yourself. And he said, you are pardoned in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, whosoever sin that we remit here on it, is remitted in heaven. I say, you are forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus. You are washed clean by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, before we run off and pray final prayer, you see in that book of uh, uh, First John, from chapter um, chapter one, uh, from uh, verses uh, verses seven to nine, you know, he was telling us that uh, if we say we have fellowship with God, we must be in the light, because there is no darkness in Him at all, no darkness in God at all. So if you are still involved in darkness. You are not having a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. This powerful blood cannot work in your life. You cannot be redeemed. First of all, you have to repent. He says that when you confess, when you confess your sin, because if you say you don't have sin, 
that you are a liar. It means that you are a liar and you are not saying the truth. But if you can just confess, the Lord is faithful. He will first you are just and he will cleanse you from all your unrighteousness. The, the sin you have committed does not matter here at this realm. It's for you to not say, I have committed so so sin. Maybe you have stolen, maybe you have, you know, be powerful, you know, committed adultery, fornication, or any kind of you have even killed before. Right now, by the power in the blood of Jesus, even as you are confessing right now, I said that you are forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus wash you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said the blood of Jesus separates you from the power of darkness. They won't be able to reach you again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to you there. I say no more nightmares. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command the blood of Jesus to overshadow you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Makata Marimo Sintali. Because truly, I'm filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as I speak to you, I say you are redeemed in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever your heart has been sold, I say the blood of Jesus buys it back now in the name of Jesus. I say you are redeemed, you are healed in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are healed in your lungs. You are healed in your kidneys. In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. You will not die. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is written that we do not like when he satisfies you. He will show you his salvation. I see the salvation of the Lord coming to you. You are now a child of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are blessed forever. It is well with you. Great testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see uh, the phone number if for adventure you have prayer requests or you want to reach us, giving us testimonies of what God has done through this uh, Pastor Shola Family TV. I say you can send your testimonies and we continue to pray with you. May the Lord bless you forever. Till next time we meet in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God.